All right, first thing first. <clears throat> That was the last game for Mikel Arteta. That is the first thing. That definitely has to be his last game. Um, because he was he was given three games to turn his luck around, his fortune around. And basically, that has that I think that, that was his, his third game. And it was Burnley, no, Wolves, Burnley, Wolves, Burnley, then Everton. Yeah, <clears throat> that was it. Uh, so, so as far as I know now, Mikel Arteta has been sacked. As far as I know. Um, but <clears throat> woeful first half, extremely poor first half. In between the goals, um, in when they, in between when they, when they scored their first goal, I saw the performance really stand out. Um, <clears throat> no, in the second half we started off very good. We dominated the second half basically, but we just could not capitalize and find that goal. Um. We have now gone seven Premier League games without a win. Um, ten, 10 games losing streak, basically. No, well, in the Premier League, at that. Um, it is just extremely frustrating at, at this point in time. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to say because these are the same things that are happening over and over. What, one thing I realize is that <clears throat> teams are coming out and they're trying their best to get an early goal and when they score that early goal it's like they just lock shop and they know that we cannot score um i think i will do the player ratings after this but for now i'm just going to do the pretty much uh, makeup or whatever they call it. but I'm, I'm extremely frustrated um <clears throat> as i said before this has to be his last game i was rooting for him for a long while now but i think that this has been hit this is it and i hope that whosoever is going to take the responsibility um also have, has the knowledge to appoint someone who is experienced and can get the job done because this is a massive job we have a massive job on our hands and we cannot give it to someone who is inexperienced we have to give it to someone who has the, the quality who has been doing it for years and they can dominate the game and also manage the dressing room this is a very big job and i think it is a, too much of a big job for Mikel Arteta he has improved a lot of players but in relation to the job in itself it's a big job i think that what should have happened is that he should have remained as coach and we we we, we maybe put in a better um recruiting officer or uh, someone in, in the technical director area because Hedu is not cutting his job some of the things that I've seen been happening they're not cutting it um the second half let me get let me talk about the second half mm, it was not, it wasn't a bad second half in favor of Arsenal because we created a lot we created a lot of chances we just could not have converted it but Everton 2 Arsenal 1 another loss on the road another loss in the bank in the kitty no we're just trending down and i'm actually i think i might enjoy um championship i might enjoy championship because we have i think it's more games to play and we have a chance of winning something a title so i might enjoy championship so i'm i'm just basically gearing my mind mentally to play in championship because i've seen i have seen um west brom putting on a fight against um manchester city i'm seeing Burnley beat, you know, putting and um, putting on a fight against Aston Villa. I've seen all those type of things, so definitely I know that these guys won't stay down there. They will not stay down there. But we are only going one direction. Our next challenge is Manchester City in the cup tie, and we're not going to win that. We are not going to win that. Then now we have Chelsea Football Club coming up, and we are not going to win that. Just to say, it's going to be the same situation. Two early goals, game done close and that is it for Arsenal Football Club so um, by Christmas I believe we might be 17th we might be 17th on Christmas Day no, after Christmas we might be 17th that's after Chelsea we we'll definitely be 16th, 17th after Chelsea that is actually in the relegation battle and what can I say that is our performing so that is the reason why we're there this is very hurtful um it's really 
it, it, it feels like a stab in the back. It's hurtful, it's upsetting, and it's downright draining me mentally and physically. But I've been supporting Arsenal for the longest while, so you cannot hurt me. I'm a member of the military, I cannot get hurt mentally as well. So, thank you very much for tuning in. I have nothing more to say. Woeful performance again from Arsenal Football Club. Military TV.